What if you found yourself, like Prince Harry, at the heart of one of the most famous families in the world, only to feel excluded and, at times, unwelcome? Welcome to the complex relationship between the Sussexes and the British royal family. We begin with a tale of two households, or rather, a tale of one household divided. On one side, we have the Sussexes, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan, along with their children. On the other, we have the rest of the British royal family, with King Charles III at the helm. This relationship, once cordial, has become strained over time, and recent events have brought it into sharp focus. Prince Harry's urgent return to the UK, due to King Charles III's cancer diagnosis, has set tongues wagging about the possibility of Duchess Meghan's return to the fold. This speculation, however, is laced with tension, given the history between Meghan and the British royal family. King Charles III's actions towards Meghan and her children have been far from welcoming. The eviction from their UK home and explicit restrictions on Meghan's presence at royal estates, these are clear signals of exclusion, stark reminders of the widening chasm between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. Yet, amidst all this, Meghan remains a figure of contention, a character in the royal narrative who continues to captivate public interest. Her potential return to the UK, even if only speculated, has sparked numerous discussions, revealing the depth of the rifts within the family and the fascination that surrounds the Sussexes' relationship with the rest of the royal family. The complex interplay of personal dynamics, media narratives, and institutional traditions, at the heart of this relationship, continues to provoke discussion and captivate public interest. It is a delicate balance, a dance between personal peace and public expectation, set against the backdrop of one of the most famous families in the world. This narrative of exclusion underscores the broader challenges of reconciling these strained relations. The British media has its own version of this royal narrative, with some suggesting that the current crisis could offer a chance for reconciliation within the royal family. Indeed, the portrayal of family dynamics by the media paints a picture of a potential thawing in relations. The idea of Prince Harry's presence back on native soil, and potentially that of Meghan and their children, is posited as a source of comfort and support to King Charles during his treatment. What is being portrayed is not just a simple family reunion, but a careful dance of reconciliation and acceptance. The British media, with its keen eye for royal affairs, hints at the possibility of renewed bonds, particularly between Prince Harry and Prince William. These are two brothers who have grown up in the public eye, their relationship strained and scrutinized in recent years. Now, the media conjectures, could be a time for healing and unity. In these portrayals, there's a sense of hope and expectation. The media suggests that this crisis, as unfortunate as it is, could serve as an opportunity for the family to come together, to support one another, and to show the public a united front. The presence of Harry, Meghan, and their children, if it were to occur, could symbolize a turning point in these complex familial dynamics. This media narrative, however, is not without its undertones. There's an implicit acknowledgement of the contentious relationship Meghan has with the institution. The media's portrayals often highlight the delicate balance between personal peace and public expectations. Meghan's potential return to the UK, even if only temporary, is seen as a cautious step towards acceptance and reconciliation. Commentary within the media speculates on the possibility of a reconciliation that could be beneficial not just for the family, but for the monarchy as a whole. The idea of a united royal family, overcoming personal differences for the sake of a loved one's health, is a compelling narrative. One that holds the potential to shift perceptions, mend relationships, and possibly even shape the future of the monarchy itself. The narrative around Meghan's potential acceptance back into the UK and the royal fold reveals the depth of the rifts and the ongoing public fascination with the Sussexes' relationship with the rest of the royal family. The speculation of reconciliation, whether grounded in reality or not, brings to the for the intense discussions about the monarchy's future, familial obligations, and individual autonomy within such a public framework. The possibility of a reconciliatory moment, as fleeting as it may be, could symbolize a turning point not just for the Sussexes and the royal family, but also for the monarchy. 
It raises questions about the balance between personal freedom and familial duty, the role of tradition and protocol, and the monarchy's relevance in a rapidly changing society. Could the acceptance of Meghan, a woman of color, signal a shift towards a more inclusive and modern monarchy? Or is it merely a temporary appeasement amidst a family crisis? These are the discussions that such a possibility stirs, underscoring the broader societal discourse on race, media, and the monarchy's place in contemporary Britain. This complex interplay of personal dynamics, media narratives, and institutional traditions continues to captivate public interest and provoke discussion on the evolving nature of royal family relationships. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Prince Harry's solo journey, a royal reconciliation.